Well, I have to thank you. You really went the extra mile. Thanks, but it was nothing. Nonsense. You gave 110%. Really? Anybody would have done it. No, they wouldn't. You went above and beyond the call of duty. Hello guys, my name is Mikey from UCAN.VN and it's time for another of our quick fire lessons on idioms. As I'm sure you know by now, idioms are everyday pieces of language used by English speakers that sometimes don't really make sense to people learning the language. That's why it's important for you to pay attention and this lesson is all about trying hard and putting in lots of effort. Let's get going! You want to study more effectively, don't you? Scroll down and click on the link under the description or in the comment section to watch the whole video and check the answer keys, do more exercises for further practice, download the video with subtitles, Vietnamese translations and mp3 files so you can study everywhere at any time and without internet, and watch more and download hundreds of listening and speaking lessons by native teachers. Our first idiom of the day is to go the extra mile. Now, if someone said to you, wow, thanks, you really went the extra mile, you may think, what? I haven't been a mile, let alone an extra mile. What they actually mean is that you have done more than was necessary or expected in order to please someone, achieve something, or get something done correctly. Another example of this idiom would be if you were giving advice or trying to motivate somebody. Like in this example, if you're willing to go the extra mile at work, you are bound to get noticed and grow professionally. Our second idiom is to give 110%. Now, if someone said to you, thanks for that, you really gave 110%, you might think, that's impossible. How can you give 110%? Surely, the most you could give is 100%. Well, that's what makes this idiom such a compliment. It's an exaggeration to say that you really put in a great deal of effort and that it is appreciated. This idiom is usually used when thanking or praising people. For example, if you were running a race in a relay team and you gave the maximum effort possible, your teammates could say to you, well done, you really gave 110%. This idiom can be used in both formal and informal situations. You could also use this idiom sarcastically. For example, if you and your friends were going to a fancy dress party as vampires and everyone else had put lots of effort into their costumes and then you turned up in normal clothes but with some fake teeth and fake blood, they could say to you, well, you've hardly given 110% on your costume. Our last idiom of today's class is to go beyond the call of duty. Now, this one might sound odd as the call of duty is usually used in a military context, but what it means is to exceed the expectation of one's job, position or role. For example, wow, I can't believe you finished our whole report while I was out sick. You really went beyond the call of duty on this one. If you were particularly pleased with someone's efforts, you could adapt the idiom by adding the word above. Like in this example, we go above and beyond the call of duty to ensure that every customer is 100% satisfied. It's quiz time everybody! It's that time in the lesson where I like to track your progress and see how well you have been listening. There will be three multiple choice questions on the idioms we have been studying. One, if someone was really trying hard, you could say they were going the what? A, extra yard. B, extra mile. C, extra distance. Two, if someone said to you that you had gone above and beyond the call of duty, what would they be? A, angry with you. B, very pleased with you. Three, if you really wanted to compliment somebody on their effort, 
you could say they gave how much? A. 100% B. 200% C. 110% You can find the answers to this quiz and so much more on our fantastic website. Log on to www.ucan.vn and check out all of our other lessons, articles and other cool things that will not only make learning English easy, it will also make it fun. That's all for this lesson. I hope the idioms today help you lots. Thanks again for joining me today. I'll see you in the next lessons. Did you love what you just watched? Be sure to visit our wicked website www.ucan.vn to access more great videos, pictures, blogs and all kinds of interesting stuff.